So I was recording a bunch of Elementor tutorials for my channel and during my break, I saw this cool design on my phone and it hit me. Why not create this dynamic style for my website too? So I opened Elementor, used three vertical carousels, put my images in them and pasted a small CSS code that I got from Nikolai. Thank you. And in just five minutes, I created this. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, I've got a blank page here and to make a carousel, click this button and select four column container layout. We need three containers for the carousel and a fourth one for the text widget. So go to the layout settings and change the width to full width. Next, set the minimum height to 500 pixel and make sure to justify the content to the center. Also, align the items to the center, which will make sure everything is centered and looks uniform. Now let's focus on the first three containers that will become the carousel. I'll set this one to a width of 15%. Then go to the advanced settings and add some padding like this. Once that's done, I'll right click here, copy this container and paste the style to the other containers. For the fourth container, set the width to 55% to create some space for other elements. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL, and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just Elif is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now let's move on to the next step. Now. Let's make our carousel. To do that, select the first container and go to the advanced settings. Then go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste it here. Now comes the important part. Make sure you add this CSS ID in the layout tab. This will link your container to the CSS code we just added. Once that's done, you can see a faint fading effect at the top and bottom here. Next, let's add images to our carousel. To do that, select the first container and add an image widget here. Choose an image from the media library like this. All right, before we add all the images, we need to make this small tweak. I'll just resize our images so that the carousel doesn't look cluttered. So I'll set the resolution to custom and set the width and height to somewhere around this. Now click apply and go to advanced settings. Scroll down and add image one as the CSS class. This will make it the first image of the first carousel. Similarly, we'll use image two for the second carousel and image three for the third carousel. Pretty straightforward, right? Awesome. Now you'll notice the carousel has started working. Now just copy and paste this image as many times as you like. For this tutorial, I'll create a set of four images and change them from the media library. Don't worry if the images stick together, they'll work without issues in the final preview. Now to create the second and third carousel, we'll follow the same method. And once done, it will look something like this. But make sure you add the correct CSS code for the other two containers. Also, don't forget to put CSS ID image two for second carousel and image three for the third carousel. All right, now let's do it quickly. Once that's done, let's add the final elements to the fourth container. I'll first add a heading widget and to change the text, color and font, I'll use the style tab. We'll also add some text here and a button. Once that's done, it will look something like this. All right, let's update and preview the page by clicking here. And there you go. The carousel is scrolling smoothly. Now it's time to make our carousel responsive so that they appear side by side on other devices as well. And for that, we need to paste a small code. So I'll go to the responsive window and select mobile portrait. Go to the page settings, then to the advanced settings and add the custom CSS code here. Don't worry, it's in the description below. Awesome, they are visible now, but we are not done yet. Let's bring our fourth container on top. So select the fourth container and adjust the padding from here. Next, set it to custom and make it number one. So this content appears first on mobile. Then I'll select the first carousel, go to advanced settings and change the order to two. Similarly, select the second and third carousels and change the order to three and four respectively. Once you're done, exit the responsive mode by clicking here and then hit update. Okay, this looks good but something is off. Let's quickly fix the speed and fade effect on both sides. I'll go back to Elementor and select this container. Go to the CSS panel and change the animation speed to somewhere around this number. Now I'll select this second container 
and change the black level to 40%. Okay, we are almost done. Let's edit the CSS for the last container like this. Once done, save the changes by clicking here and preview it. Yeah, looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.